Hello and welcome. In this session, I'll be showing you how to access electronic books or ebooks. To get started, open your browser and type off campus .ke. It is going to take you to the login page for the electronic resources. So here again, you log in using your library's credentials. And remember, instructions on how to get your login details are available in the reading materials for this orientation. So I'm going to key in my registration number and password that has been assigned to me by the library. Then click on login to access the electronic resources. After you log in, you are able to see that the first item here is past papers, which is another link to the past papers platform. And the second link or option here is the one that we will use in this session to access electronic books or ebooks. So simply click on the link here to open the electronic books. It is going to open the page in another tab of your browser. Our electronic books platform is called ProQuest eBook Central, as you can see the name from this section here. Now, accessing electronic books will begin by you doing a search. To begin a search, simply use this uh, search box section here. So I am going to look for a book in education, which is about history of education in Kenya. And to do that, I am going to type history of education in Kenya. After you've typed that, simply click on the search button here to begin your search. So as you can see, there is a big list of 20,000 titles that we have received from the search. However, I'm going to look for the particular book that I want. It is by Sifuna Daniel. It's this one here. So to open and read the book, you can click on the title here, or you can click on this book icon on the right hand side here. You can explore other sections here so that you can also understand what they do. So let me open the book by clicking on the title of the book. Then to open the content, click on read online, this button here. Now, the left side section here will show you the contents of that book, or rather the table of contents. Then the main section here is the content itself. And actually, you can actually read the whole book. You can see that this book here is 283 pages, as you can see from this section here. You can collapse this section of the table of contents by clicking on the X icon here so that you can concentrate on reading the content of the book. And you can bring it back by clicking on that button there. I have mentioned that you can read the entire book online all the 283 pages of this book. You can be able to read all that online. However, remember that you are not allowed to download the whole book. 
because of copyright restrictions. Now, let's say you want to download chapter 2 or a given topic. Simply go to the table of contents section. Uh, for instance, let me say I want to read this section, uh, chapter 2, early man and education. Simply go to that section in the table of contents and click on it. Its content is going to load in the main section or the reading section here. To download the chapter, that is chapter 2, you will need to use this uh, icon here to download the chapter. Click on this icon which is written PDF. Then click continue. Then click on open PDF and it's going to download the file for you. Now, if you are like me, it is not every day that you know exactly what you want to read on. Sometimes you just want to browse what is available so that you can choose from the list of what is available. So let us go back to the search so that I can show you more features that are available for you when you're doing a search. Let's click on search on the search section here so that we can do another search. So let's say this time round we want to do a search on maybe human anatomy. So once again we are going to type human anatomy and click on the search button here to start our search. As you can see we have received a total of 46,000 titles. Let's say that from these results you want uh, more recent uh, publications in that area. Now in the left side section here you can see the year published and you can expand the number of years by clicking on show more. Now remember that we got a result of 45,000 titles. So let's filter our results so that we can get more relevant titles for us to read. Let's say you want books published from the year 2015. What you're going to do is to select all these years up to 2015, one by one. Like that. And you can see the results have reduced. But as I continue selecting, the total number of books in published in that year is going to be added to the results. So you can see that we have ended up with a total of 5,000 books. That is the total number of books published from the year 2015 on this particular platform. Now, something else that I would like to show you is the feature called the bookshelf, this, this one here. Now, from the results of the books that we have received here, or that we have filtered here, there is this icon here on the right side. This button here allows you to add this book to a list so that you can come back later on and access all the books in that particular list which is this feature that we are calling the bookshelf. It will be preserved and each time you access this platform, you will be able to access that list and access the books within the list. So how do you add a book to a list? Simply click on this button here. It is going to bring up this section. Now, because we have not created any list previously, you will need to click here then select new, then give your list a name. Let's say this is human anatomy. And let's say recent literature, because we have selected books that are recent. Then say add item. Now, you can continue doing the same for all the other books by simply clicking on the button. 
then click here to select your list which is human anatomy recent literature then add item and let me add one more Uh, I can stop there for the demonstration purposes. Now, to access your list, simply click on bookshelf on this link up here. It's going to list. It is going to list all the lists that you have previously created on the system in the left hand side of the page here. As you can see here, we have human anatomy recent literature which has three books which are the books that we just added and clicking on that list will give you a list of all the books that are in that particular bookshelf so you can copy the link from up here then you can share that with your colleagues or email it to them so that they can also get access to your bookshelf on human anatomy you will notice that there are many other features of this platform that i have not shown you however i believe that on your own you can be able to find time and go through all of them and after you are finished using the system always remember to log out of the platform by clicking on the logout link up here